Hello everybody and welcome back. So that's exactly where we left off in the last video. This time, thank God, a shorter break in between episodes and yes, okay. So I have some work in front of me and yeah, let me show you what work I mean. So this is the last room we built last time and uh, yeah it was it was really fun to build that okay this is the first room we will build in this episode that's another connecting corridor and yeah it seems I have to do some exterminator work so I will be back when that's done So the exterminator strikes again and yeah, our rotten friends sleep the eternal sleep and yeah, I hope so at least. But yeah, as you can see there's a nice staircase in this room, a nice ornamented um, wall here. I don't know yet what, yeah, what material I will use in Minecraft but yeah, we will see that. So there's another room. Um, this this is a I guess a save room. Yes, a save room with a dark room in addition. So there's a special cabinet in this room. This year, you have to use a key you receive from Brad, or I don't know. Just the stars members, um, a pilot, a helicopter pilot with a yellow vest. I, I really don't know his name right now, but I guess it's Brad or something. Brad Vickers, or I hope you don't hate me for that, but I don't really know the name right now. So, this is the first section for the upstairs. Another room we will build here, another connecting corridor, so to say with a broken door, a puzzle part, which I won't um, do in this um, Resident Evil parts of the video because it would take too much time. I hope you don't mind. So, another room. It's one of the longer ones and yeah. And now for the last room, the stars meeting room. This room has a really intense music, as you can hear. One of the cooler mu musics in this, in this part of the game, or in this game. So, in this cabinet is a grenade launcher, would we gently take or with pleasure and like in the other video I will take notes and screenshots of every room to make the best out of it yeah a replica of a, vi of a gun and one of the important items in this room, not Chris notebook, but the emblem underneath it. We will need that to receive a key to go further. So yeah, I will left you with the music and I guess I will see you back in Minecraft. So, and welcome back. Now we are in Minecraft and I had some slight changes to announce. Like, I've tried to build a statue again and I hope this... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's at least the nearest I can 
yeah, the nearest I can build. And there are more changes, like I had to rebuild the whole corridor here, as well as this, and the whole schooling room. So, I guess the entire video last time I had to redone or rebuild. And yeah, there's lava up there to resemble some blood dripping off the ceiling, which I thought looked pretty cool. So, these are the changes. This is bigger now, and the schooling room is bigger as well. And in my opinion, it looks better. I guess, yeah. And um, this carpet should look like there's um, sheets and papers and something scattered around here. And we have the other room here with armor stands, a chimney and yeah, some scrap or something. Yeah, okay. I couldn't make out what the ceiling is made of, so I built it entire out of wood. And yeah, so without further ado, I guess that's where we left off and yeah, I will build the next room or rooms and I will be back when that's done. Until then, bye! Hello everyone, and I'm back, and the first part of the stairwell room is done. So, yeah, this is where I had to do some exterminator work in Resident Evil 2, and that's what I built so far. So, the staircase was really pain to build, but I... Yeah, in my opinion, that's the best what I can, can up to, and I hope you like it. Yeah, so the upstairs aren't, aren't done so far, but I will work on that. So the upper part of this stairwell thing looks pretty weird in the game, architecture-wise, and yeah, I will make the best out of it. And yeah, what we have here is some miscellaneous stuff under the stairs, there are some boxes and Metal boxes and yeah. As you can see, I put in some green herb as well, as well as the flower pot thing here. And now for the safe room, we have here the cabinet where you have to. Um, you can only open it with a special key from a special zombie named Brad Vickers or something, I don't know. There's a desk with a typewriter here, another chest, and a another cabinet for the looks. And then we have the dark room with um, coat hangers and sinks, another table thing, and green, uh, green light, I said, red light. And some more desks. So, yeah, here you have it. The dark room. And the safe room. So, let me work on the upper part a little bit more. And I guess I will see you back when that's done. And here we back. So, the stairwell room is finally done. So, yeah. I really couldn't make out what the ceiling here is made of, so I just assumed that's the best solution, I guess. So yeah, that's what I showed you so far, the safe room and the dark room and everything, the staircase, and this is the upper part. So there are some yeah, funny looking ornaments here. And as I said, the architecture or the, the architecture, I don't know how to pronounce it right now, is pretty funny on this level because um, I guess it's a 
hate or love it room. I don't know. Yeah, so this is what I built. So there are four windows here on this side and a giant ceiling window with arches, of course. And there are these statues and the statue puzzle where you have to put the grey statue over here and the red one over here to get a red gem or something from this statue which is holding up the gem. Yeah, okay. And again, zip, zip, zip. that's what I built so far. Another air condition system. Actually, this door is broken in the game. I mean, in the Resident Evil game. But we can open it in Minecraft, of course. So, this is the another section I will build. This is a grey corridor and the stars meeting room. So, yeah, without further ado, let me build that and I will be back. And welcome back. So, this is the final part of the video. Uh, at the end of this video, I have a special surprise for you, so please stay tuned for that. So, you've already saw this here, and I had to let make uh, some little changes, like I replaced the redstone lamps with regular glowstone, and I replaced the ornaments on the wall, because I couldn't stand the look of it. So, yeah, let me go further to the grey corridor. And I know there's no carpet like this in the original game, but I wanted to save the blood or lava feature. So, I, I'm really sorry I had to do that. I hope you can, can live with that. So, yeah. And... This is the end of the corridor, blah, blah, blah. The police department in all its glory. Of course, the, the, this will be um, dressed up later on. Da, da, da. So this is that room with a suspect bench and some miscellaneous stuff lying on the ground. So, and this is the star's room. Ba, ba, da, ba. With, of course, some more miscellaneous stuff here and there. Computer stuff. Sheets and papers lying on the ground. Some wires and some other technological stuff here and there. I guess this is Rebecca Chambers' desk. This is Jill's desk, I guess. This is, of course, Chris's desk and maybe Barry's, I don't know. And, of course, the biggest desk belongs to the biggest a-hole of the series. This belongs to Wesker. So, yeah. There are more cardboards here and there. Another um, investigating monitor or something, I don't know. More cardboards. And, yeah, of course... The hyper-realistic guitar. Of course, you can see it's a. It's clearly a guitar. So, yeah. So this is that. And for the special surprise for you, I have a free giveaway. Um, I hope you're familiar with Killer Instinct for the Xbox One. Um, I uh, I never got warmed up with that game, so I thought I would give away my Shadow Jago to you, if you want that. Um, more details will be in another video, I will put up this um, today as well. 
<coughs> but yeah, all you have to do is leave a like on this video. Um, maybe a comment like I want Jago, I'm here for Jago or yeah, just um, an indication that you want Jago. And I will pick a random person and send him the code for Jago, I guess. So yeah, that's for this part or for this video. I hope you liked it. <coughs> if you haven't already for Jago, leave a like if you want and if you haven't already subscribe if you want to see more of the build here or anything else let me know until the next video I would say bye bye